I don't know what happened. Our stream crashed. So, yeah. So we're trying again. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, we were talking about you being in summer school. Yes. Does it look like it's on there now? Can you go check? On my end. <sighs> Technology. YouTube hates me. Okay, so you go to subscriptions. Usually it just pops right up. No, it doesn't always. <clears throat> Are you subscribed to me? Yeah, live. Yeah. There it goes. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Here we are again. I'm going to have my head open. And I'll go back and forth. You what? Well, no, no. Don't let the sound be there. Because then we'll I'll have a off. crazy echo. Anyway. Hi, guys. We're back again. Sorry. YouTube hates us. So, anyway. We were talking about Blake is teaching summer school. And I'm devastated. <laughs> That's about it. And I was about to show you some poodles. <sighs> Let's see the poodles. <laughs> Yay, you came back. You found us. Thank you. All right, so this was a chained set of poodles. And oh my God, were they dirty. They were so, like this girl, you couldn't even tell that she was pink. Because she was like brown. Oh, our internet keeps crashing. Mine probably is crashing too. That's probably what's happening. Um, she had a chain and she was unattached to some babies, but I'll show you her first. I took her chain off so that I could wash her. There's Penny. Yeah. The star. Anyway, she's pink and she's really, really pretty now that I've cleaned her up and her spaghetti is in good shape. And she came with two, well, she came with a chain too. Her chain was on, but I just took it off because she wasn't even attached to the babies. And when I looked closer at them, <laughs> she looks like she's dead. Ugh. Anyway, I'll show you. You only missed a couple things, Michelle, like literally two or three things. And our feed crashed anyway, and we had to start, start it over. So it you didn't miss anything. Don't jinx it. <laughs> anyway, here's the babies. And those don't really match the mama so i'm saying that it's a modern single woman and her adopted children so they're um they're chained together but they're not chained to her and i don't think they ever went together in the first place uh one of them has broken flower petals on the top but i don't really care because they're cute um what was next, Blake? Next is... And real real quick, I'll recap. Tooth Fairy Pillow. Oh, the Tooth Fairy Pillow, okay. Real quick, I'll recap. Salt and pepper shakers. <coughs> oh, okay, all right. Go ahead. Kissy salt and pepper shakers. And vintage turkey die cuts. That's all you missed. And then we crashed because YouTube hates us. Stop saying it. You can jinx it. Pillow. Oh, oh, the tooth fairy pillow. Okay, so as I break things. This was somebody who just makes things at the flea market. Oh, I remember this one. And I saw this, and th again, this was two months ago when we went to this flea market. And <sighs> circle of death. Oh, tell me we don't have a circle of death. Well, I'll check, check on there. But anyway... Here's her info. No, we're good. Brody just got out of bed. Here's her info. She sells on um, Etsy. Riley Hudson. XOXO. And it was just this cute little pillow. Can you go just take care of him real quick? The kids are needing stuff, you know, as is life. Anyway... I am drawn to anything that has vintage campers on it. Oh, he's, he's thrown up. Oh. Brody's been sick, so that's the fun thing we've been dealing with lately. So anyway, when we went to the flea market, Bo had just gotten his first loose tooth. And so I saw the tooth fairy pillow and I was like, that's perfect. We don't have a tooth fairy pillow for him. 
So I got that. Um, let me see what was next. As Blake deals with a barfing child. Oh, poor baby. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I don't know where Blake's photos are in his phone. He keeps everything in a weird place. Okay. So the next thing that I got, can you guys hear him like crying in the background? Was this roving eye shot glass. I have a whole like collection of these. You see the eyeball rolling around in there. So the eyeball is reverse painted and there's like an opening in the front. So it looks like the eye rolls around. I've got a whole set of these now. Um, so whenever I see them, I pick them up and this one had a different face on it than I've seen before. So I went ahead and grabbed him. And next, well, Blake's supposed to show some records next, but next we went to my favorite um, vendor, Retro Cat's Meow, because she likes all the same stuff that I like. And I actually saw her at that epic estate sale that I'm not talking about yet. Um, so she got some of the cool mermaids and stuff from, from the estate sale, but she's also Blake's like record dealer. And, um, so he got some records from her when he's done dealing with barfy baby, he'll come down and show you in a second. But I got a set of coasters and aren't these cool? the chat still there? Am I still live? Oh my gosh, weird things are happening. There we go. Is he all right? Talk to you. Oh no. <laughs> Poor baby. This is water bottle. There's just that one right there, yeah. Can you shut the door when you go back up? Because he's just like yelling really loud. I know he is. Anyway, he's they're all different happy. They're all different colors, as you can see. Actually, Blake, why don't you show the... Um, you want to go check out? Yeah, you show the... No, just keep going. Show the records you got from Retro Cat's Meow. That's the point we're at right now, anyway. And these okay, are... Um, go back up there. What? I'm going to go back up there. Just go ahead. No, I'll go up there and right. help him. I'm gonna take care of a, a little babe. Blake's gonna show you the records he got. I'll be right back. <clears throat> we'll trade off. Okay, chaos, turmoil. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so actually, Where are the ones I got from the... Oh, I see. There. Okay, so Retro Cat's Meow is usually my, my, my Frank Zappa dealer. But, uh, oh, you... Thank you, Cheryl. I have a lot more along the side over here, too. But uh, I have too many. But I can't stop buying them, to be honest. So it is what it is. Um... Yeah, eventually, I think, I, I you know, it's hard for me to sell online because uh, I don't want, it, like, people getting pissed off about condition and stuff like that. It's hard for me to kind of, people complain about that stuff a lot, so it's hard to sell them. But I probably would. Um, I've sold a few, but they've only been, like, I got a Simon and Garfunkel Silent to Silence sealed. I mean, it's pretty simple. To sell a sealed album it's in perfect condition right so you know but i've sold a few others but i haven't really gotten into it all that much but uh other than maybe selling like a crate of stuff on facebook marketplace but you know i'd like to do more but i just don't 
Not, I, I don't really have the time right now, but. So, for Retro Cats Meow, so I, I'm a big blues guy. So I got, let me take that out. So I got Albert King, King of the Blues Guitar. This is a compilation blues album for Albert King. He's a really good blues guy. I mean, probably not as big as B.B. King, I would say. He's, B.B. King is like the guy, but Albert King is great. And blues, blues stuff on vinyl is really hard to find. Really hard to find. Uh, in good condition, too. And these are pretty nice shape, so I was pretty stoked to find them. I also got uh, Albert King Livewire Blues Power. This was a live concert from, I think, the Fillmore in San Francisco. I'm back. Is How's he doing? Is he okay? He's all right. Uh, Albert King Live the Blues Power. This is a really good live album. It's in really good shape. Uh, this The sleeve is, is all right, but honestly, I don't really care about that. I care about the, how the vinyl sounds. The sleeve can be trashed. And I have a few albums that actually... I got one from a guy, he passed away, and his brother let me come get some golf stuff because I'm a golf coach at the school. Uh, and I was like, well, does he have any vinyl, you know? And he's like, you kidding me? And he pulls this tub out, and it's uh, it's all water-damaged oh, yeah. records in this tub. And I pull out, I mean, there's beetles and everything in there. It's disappointing. This is a long story. It's not a long story. I'll finish it up. Um, I pull out a Mobile Fidelity... Uh, Alan Parsons Project, I, Robot, which is like a $150 album from the 80s. But it's completely water damaged. Like this, the, I had to like dry out the sleeves with towels and stuff. Yeah. But the vinyl was perfect. Oh, was it? Absolutely perfect. Not even a warp. And I was like, ah, it's great. So I, you know, I have a few of that. But um, so the sleeve doesn't really matter to me as much as the vinyl being perfect. Does that have anything to do with what you're showing right now? <laughs> <sighs> uh, I can go on and on. But uh, so that's just the retro cats meow stuff I got. Was that it from from that one? You already did all of everything from retro cats. Just two. It was just two records. Okay. Well, then let's go on to the next thing. I think it was two records. Um. Sorry for the long story. That's okay. It was a good stall while I cleaned barf up off of a three year old. You know, when I talk about vinyl, it's like rolling down the hill. It's hard to stop. And you know. Okay. Talk about so audio stuff. tell me about it. <laughs> Whatever. Tell me about it. Whatever you can, you talk about all your kissing. My stuff's salt inter shakers my and stuff's stuff. interesting. <laughs> all right, people were wanting to to see the last picture in this because we were talking about it in the shopping video. So this is a little um, photo album from what does it say? Let me see. Arena Studio or Ars it looks like an S. It looks Arsene? like Arsenic. Arsenic Studios. Yeah, I don't know. Well, anyway, it's from it's in Anaheim, California. So this was a wedding. I wish they had filled out the bride and groom info on there, but it's all blank. But That's anyway, a wedding. I'm gonna show you <laughs> the pictures. They're all colorized. Um, so they were black and white and then they added color to it and the pictures are just so kitschy and wonderful. Look at her dress. Those are cool. It's so cool. And as I was looking at the album in the shopping video, um, the vendor and I were talking about the, the last photo, but I wasn't filming it. <laughs> and we we're like, oh, that last photo is so good. And I didn't show it to you. So I'll show it to you now. Hi, Debbie. Look at these. And look at the... And I love how all the colorized pictures are all pink and turquoise, too. I mean, it's just so... Oh, there was one where... This one. There's a calendar in the background. And I'm pretty sure it says August 1960. Mm. So wow. I think that, that gives you a little um, date of when this wedding was. I think pictures like that that are colorized after the fact always look very interesting. Well, they look, I mean, they just have that looks, certain style to them. I think it looks cool. I kind of like it. This one was kind of like done in a sloppy way too. Really? A little bit. Yeah. When you look closely at it, I just love that wedding dress. I really do like it. Okay. Here's the last photo. You guys ready? 
Oh yeah. It's cool, <laughs> it's cool right? There it is. What a cool car. They're kissing in the car. That's awesome. I don't know what kind of car that is. I bet somebody could figure it out. I don't know. I'm not a car guy. I don't either. But, I mean, it says. A Cadillac. It says on there. And, obviously, it's got the emblem. But I have no idea. Is it Impala? See, look. Look. Love your stories, Blake. You need to have your own channel. No, I'm not going to have my channel. <laughs> I don't like the editing part. I couldn't do any well, of that. Just go too... live every time. Just yeah. yap away about records. Nobody wants to listen to that. I'll just do it on your channel. Give everybody a break from you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> See, people are going to comment again and say that I'm being, whatever, condescending and... That's fine. ...bitchy to you again. Um, I also got an elephant from that booth. This is a Japan. It's like embossed. Japan on the back. Four dollars. And he's just a pink and gray painted elephant. And I thought it was cute. So I got that too. At the same place that I got the wedding album. Nice. Uh, what was next? Uh, Drew. Sun's photo album. Elephant. Set two small frame bird needlepoints. Oh. How, what did I pay for these? I was trying to remember. I couldn't remember. New points. Was it ten dollars? Ten dollars. So I got some Boyds, some birdies, needle points. Katie could have him on her channel as a guest, and they could talk about albums. We could do that. You could do that. He talks to Katie all the time. They're buddies. Yeah, I do. They're friends. Try to help her find some good gear. Yeah, I think this is a. Uh, what kind of bird is that? I know this is a cardinal. Is that an Oreo? Oriole? It think, looks like it. I think it is. So we've got sports team birds. <laughs> Cardinals versus the Orioles. Not rivals by any means, but hey. Different, uh, different leagues. Uh, I don't know. Are they both National League? Orioles? Orioles? Baltimore? I know that. I know the Cardinals, Cardinals are, are National, National League. League. I can't remember. I don't I follow. Don't know. Robin? Hmm. Don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know birds, but I have a needlepoint collection, and I got these for myself. Boy, does she. I don't have that <laughs> many. Come no, on. Really, I don't I'll have be, that many. Uh, you know, sorry. You'll, you'll tell the truth. You got a lot of needlepoints. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? What's next? I got a few more. I got a few more. Okay, I'll do this. Okay. So I'm a big, uh, I like soundtracks a lot. And, Wisconsin um, State Bird mm, is the robin. Is mm. it? So I have, um, so I like soundtracks, and I've been collecting all the Bond movies. Oh, yeah. So I have uh, Man with the Golden Gun, which is an awesome Bond movie. I like Roger Moore. The, he's my favorite Bond. Because okay. all of, his, all of his, uh, his movies were all over the top. It was in the that 80s. The 80s. They're flying though. in space. It's kind of yeah. ridiculous, right? But uh, I don't know. I thought Roger Moore was funny. I like Sean Connery. Sean Connery's good, but... And then I have Octopussy. I think we're going to get banned on YouTube now <laughs> because you said that. <laughs> we're going to get shut down again. But, uh, yeah, both of them are in really nice shape. And, um, honestly, they're just, they're, some of them are harder to find than the others. But I have almost, I have a lot of them. I don't have all of them yet. I need, like, I don't know, You Only Live Twice. And then I need Dr. No. I don't know. What else do I have? Heck know. if I know. Anyway. Have you seen any of his movies? I've seen, I think I've seen most of them. Who? The Bond movies. Oh, have seen all of them? I think I've, I, well, I don't know if I've seen all of them. I've I don't think all. I've seen all of them, but I've seen a lot of them. I don't know, they're, I mean, they're Have they're you listened great. to those yet? Yeah. I listened to The Man with the Golden Gun. I haven't listened to, uh, I won't ban ourselves. To again. the. Yes. But, uh, no, they're great. The music's always really good on them. They have a lot of big, big, uh... Who's saying the, um, the big number in that uh, one? It was, uh, John Barry, uh, John Barry? John Barry for Octopus. I can't even think of the song for that one. I can't either. But this one, um, what's it, who's, uh, John the, Barry again? That's the conductor, but who, who sang it? Lyrics by Don Black. Title song performed by Lulu. By Lulu, okay. There it is. Who's Lulu? I don't know. 
I like the um, the Tom Jones ones, like Thunderball, were good. Um, I like the Tina Turner one. Tina Turner for Golden Eye was mm-hmm. good. Um, and then Carly Simon did uh, oh, yeah. The Spy Who Loved Me, which mm-hmm. is really good. Um, I like Carly Simon. It's probably one of the best Bond songs, Spy Love Me. So if, you're, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and listen to it. It's really Everybody good. knows what you're talking about. I don't know. Whatever. Let me do another <laughs> one. Let me get through a few of these. Oh, Adele. Yeah, Adele did a good one, too. That was a good one. I also was walking by this random crate of records, and I got this Earth, Wind, and Fire for a dollar. It was in good shape. That's the only reason I bought it. I haven't even listened to it yet, and it's not even one of their best albums, but it was a dollar, so I grabbed it. <clears throat> You know, sometimes I'll, if it's a dollar, I'll take a chance on it. And maybe if I don't like it, then I'll throw it in a bin and sell it on Faith Marketplace or something like that. Um, Blake's just throwing dollars out the window. Sometimes. <laughs> so I got and I, another booth I went to. Look, Gabby just said that's the best concert she's ever seen. What? Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, I'm sure they're great. They're awesome. Mm-hmm. But the, they had a you lot of albums. don't know about that album? They had a lot of albums. I and see. there's a few of them that are really good. And then there's some that are just kind of. And they spanned a long generation of time, too. So music changes over the years a lot in some of those bands. And I'll, I'll show you that after. So, <laughs> so I got Make it rain, like, Speedwagon. He makes it rain for records, not strippers, at least. Another so. <laughs> Ar- <laughs> Ario Speedwagon. I haven't listened to these yet, though, unfortunately. I'm and sorry then, if I'm missing anybody in the chat. It goes really fast and then it disappears. Yeah. I'm not used to this. Because <clears throat> we're not on StreamYard. And that's what usually I'm. Um, on. And then I like this one a lot, and it's got a great cover. What the Super Tramp. It's like what, crisis. What crisis? <laughs> that's a good one for it's this a, last year. It's an awesome cover. That's um, us just sunning ourselves. <laughs> well, this the world is the view behind my us. school. It is. My school butts up against the Los Angeles yeah. port, and then there's also big oil refineries. The oil refineries. Back there. refineries. So literally. My kids are practicing golf on the field, and we're hitting, and, and our ball backdrop is, like, smokestacks. <laughs> <laughs> it is a cool umbrella. But I, uh, I had this already, but this, cool is a table better, too. This, this is a better copy, so I grabbed it. I'll do that, too. It's a better copy over there, easily. So, it's a never I have one ending. more batch, but we can do a couple more of yours. All right, what was next for me? Uh, next the was needle points. Um, Siamese cat. And the set of four Christmas angels. Okay. So here's the angels. Here, can you hold two of them? And I'll hold two of them. Uh, am I breaking? No, they're plastic. Oh, these are light. They're plastic. How can this be valuable? Unbelievable. <laughs> how can this be valuable? People, tell him how cool this tacky plastic Christmas is. You tell him how cool this is. These are little ornaments. And they're flocked. They're fuzzy. Yes, it's Sugar Bridges. And there's hello two sets of twins. How are you? It's two sets of twins. <laughs> They're trash tastic. See, trash-tastic. people people love it. Tacky That's is the best. That's a great term. Yeah. A wonderful term. Yeah. Trash tastic. Plastic is the best. Yep, Michelle loves it. Blake, they are cool tacky. Trust us. I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> Blake needs to be a guest on your sales. If I am ever able to do my own live sale on this channel, Blake will be joining we'll do, me. We'll do it together. Yeah, because probably. I wouldn't be, I, there's no way, I don't know how anyone does it completely solo, keeps track of who's winning things. I'm just way too, like. You need my comic relief. You can admit it. I can what? You can admit it. I, co- I thought you said you can be committed. <laughs> oh, that too. will happen, too. <laughs> anyway. There's four of these. Oh my god, she looks like. Look at her eye. Yikes. <laughs> this one is. They they uh, they slipped in the paint factory for that one. She's got something weird going on. Yeah, I don't. I do not know how people keep track of it by themselves. So if I get a chance, maybe this summer after he's done teaching summer school. We'll have August. See, write all down. I do write it all down. I have a spreadsheet. I do it on the computer, so I should, type it in. We but should just try to do it later in the evening. Maybe people will stay up. I don't know. Would anybody watch a really late night call? On the East Coast or, I mean, be, sale? It would be like 11. 
it would be yeah, like we late. would we would have to start at eight our time maybe like on a friday no, it'd friday, just be yeah, like a west seven. coast is the best coast kind of sale and it'd just mm. be all the west coast people watching <laughs> Well, well, people are saying yes. You gotta kind of so. just try it and see what happens. Yeah. If it's not good, it's not good. But again, at least we know. Still, if I do it, Blake will be assisting because it's we're, just hard for me even to watch the chat, to show something, to write stuff down. I'm I'm just not there yet. I haven't had enough practice. We're under contract negotiations right now, so it should be uh, our bargaining should be up soon. Oh, you get you get <laughs> yours. <laughs> All right. Are I'll you going to show more? I'll do more yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. There was one more thing from that. Otherwise, the best thing. Hang on. The best thing. The best thing. Nothing is thing. on here that says the best thing. Well, I don't need. Oh, okay. Oh, you this just, is cool. You write Siamese <laughs> cat. Yeah, see? You agree. I take I take that back. I so mean, this was from the same booth. And people were like, you better have gotten that. Heck yeah, I got it. Are you kidding me? It looks like Penny. Well, it's no, Penny's not a Siamese cat, not quite. Penny but... doesn't stand straight up like that. She lays down on her back, flops back over Look at how just like ticked off she is. She's got her arms crossed and everything. The bird is on her head. That's pretty cool. And you... it's like really bright colors. Are you selling that or keeping that? I haven't decided if I'm selling that. it or keeping keep it. That's a keep. See, you you get on me for having well, a big collection cool of stuff. Keep cool stuff like this. This is awesome. It just We're doesn't. Wall space, it doesn't go with the other ones though, because this is so uh, cartoony and bright colored, and the other ones I have are all realistic looking. <laughs> you guys, hear the car alarm? <laughs> got crashed. One kid started barfing. <laughs> now we got car alarm. Uh, this whatever. is why I don't go live very often. <laughs> don't, don't sell, sell her. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dog started barking from the car alarm. <laughs> well, you said your dog's barking at everything, so it was probably just a cool breeze. The dog started barking. Cool. That's um, awesome. Yeah. So show some records. Right. This is the last batch I got, so I'll just be okay. quick. So I got this. Uh, there's one record dealer. It's kind of expensive, and I feel like I spent too much for all this stuff. It wasn't terrible, but. What did you spend? I think it was like 60 bucks. 60 bucks? Yeah. That's not on the spreadsheet. Whatever. I think it's for cash. He's thrown off my That's accounting. Right. So I got this Jeff Beck. Jeff Beck is like an English guitarist. Um, uh, you know, a lot of those English guitarists kind of have the same kind of style, but different sound, like Clapton and all those guys. Oh, okay. Um, like a rock? Yeah, oh yeah. But, but very, like, oh, yeah. uh, no vocals. None of his music has any kind of lyrics or anything. It's all just jam fests of rock. <sighs> I know. Mostly probably because he can't sing. But um, Jeff Beck also uh. play had played on... Um, <laughs> you need a show with uh, Katie. What? <laughs> They're saying you need a show with Katie. Oh, well, I, if she wants to be a joint with her, I'll, I'll do it. That's fine. Yeah, he would be on um, her too. So he's like played with uh, Roger Waters after he left Pink Floyd. He did some solo albums. If you haven't noticed, Blake loves Pink Floyd. I, love, I, like, I like Roger Waters a lot. Yeah. Uh, Pink Floyd's good, but Roger Waters is awesome. Um, Clapton played with Roger Waters in his solo stuff. Jeff Beck did Amused to Death, which is Roger Waters' best solo album, in my opinion. So, and he played guitar. And it was very quiet, too. You know, it's Roger Waters' album, but, you know, you don't hear that, say that Jeff Beck is playing guitar. Or in uh, the pros and cons of Hitchhiking, you don't see you don't see that Clapton is his guitarist. It's crazy. Eric and Clapton. And I showed you, yeah. and you're we like, whoa, really? Eric Clapton plays guitar on a lot of different albums. I, I had no idea. Yeah. Eric Clapton was just listed on the back yeah. as like, oh yeah, by the way, like the best guitarist of all time happens to be playing on this album. And maybe, you know, during that, know that time, because the album on. came out in like 85 or 6 or something like that, um, uh, you might have heard that he was playing with it. But right. Not, it's not, I mean... I don't know everything, and I've gotten but I've nowadays, just gotten into music a lot recently yeah. within the last five, three, four years. But you know, I didn't know about it until I just like, oh crap. You know? Yeah, but nowadays, anytime anybody joins anyone on a song, it's oh yeah, it's, it's featuring it's, this. Or it's that. name of the song featuring 
this person and this person and this person and this person and this person. So they would never do that now where right. they're just slyly on the album. And you know, that happened a lot in like uh, jazz albums in the sixties. Like uh, a lot of them collaborated with each other and yeah, the, the names were listed, but you know, the, the, the main liner, the person's album that was, was, you know, big across the thing. Mm-hmm. And they all played it with each other in different groups and stuff. And it was really collaborative. Much different than it is today. It's, you know, a lot about money, obviously. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. That's what I was going to say. Everyone probably needs to get on in the title to get their right. royalties or and, whatever they're trying to you get. You know, the music that came out, and they're starting to reissue these uh, jazz albums, these Blue Note jazz albums in the Tone Part series and the Classic uh, Record series. They are unbelievable. And I just buy, you know, every month they come out with like two Tone Poets or two Classics and I buy them. And I'm amassing a collection of these new records, and they're all sourced by the old tapes that Have are you 60. Heard Joe Bonamassa. No, I have not. No. <clears throat> um, the the original tapes that they're recorded on are being used to source these records, and these tapes are 60 years old, and they're not going to be able to be sourced for very long, much longer, because they're just getting old and deteriorating. And so, um, I'm buying them now while I can. Because they're great. All right, keep going. Okay, I'm sorry. Move along. Okay, Traffic. This is Traffic's first album. Steve Winwood. It's his first, um, his first band that he was in. Uh, I had a copy of this already, but this is a better copy. So, better, cleaner, and everything. Traffic is awesome. One of my, also one of my favorite bands. Traffic, again. I'm trying to get Interesting the cover. Um, this is a, one of these. I have two Traffic albums. I'll just show them both right now. One of these was, uh, the band had broke up a few times. And I mean, it only uh, played for five years, maybe six years. And they had broke up twice. And so they, they had these live albums that were like compilations after they broke up to kind of like squeeze out as much money as possible, probably. But uh, one of these was that. But then uh, one of them was a live album that was uh, just released while they were playing. So I got Traffic on the Road. And I got traffic uh, last 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 exit. So this, I think, this is the one that was an after they broke up kind of thing. And then finally, finally. another soundtrack. Oh, oh, is this your big Flash Gordon? <laughs> Flash, Gordon? <laughs> which is basically a Queen album because Queen did all the music for Flash Gordon. Okay, <laughs> the mo- There was a it was a movie. No, it was a show. Oh, but there was a soundtrack for it, and I'd never Queen? seen it before. And Queen did all the music for it. Are you getting up, babe? Yeah. Well, all right. I guess you're deciding to get up. Queen did most of the music. Okay. Some of them are... um... Come here. Yeah. Published by Queen Music. No, they're saying it's a movie. Was it a movie? That's what they're saying. I thought it was a show. Heck if I know. I thought it was a show. I could be wrong. I think you're wrong, according to them. Well, I could be, because I don't know everything. (laughs) Hey, Brody, Brody. I certainly didn't watch it, but it's a Queen album, and I've heard the song, so I was like, boom. Brody, Brody, go get your glasses, son. You can leave the packages. Don't worry about it, bud. Don't worry about the packages. Go put your glasses on. Get your glasses on. Put your undies on. All right. I thought it was a show, because... Well, see, now, oh, now they're saying both. Everybody's saying both. Let me see, I will look it up. Blake needs to know. Okay, what was my next thing? Oh, You're shoot. done with records. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got for I don't records. have very much left. Uh, Pyrex. Pyrex lid, Pyrex lid. Okay. Kid 78 record. Wait, what about the um the cards? For Christmas Angels? No, the cards. I don't see cards. Bag of birthday cards and ephemera. Oh. Yeah. Because well, the free stuff was less. Written. Oh, yeah, okay. it is. It's in the blue light. Um, I got a whole bag of vintage cards and if i see something like this anywhere i i'm i cannot resist and this is eight bucks for the whole shebang and the one thing on the front that i thought was really cool was this this old um seed pack of nasturtium isn't that pretty i've seen people take these vintage seed packs and string them along a garland and hang them off of stuff there wasn't enough in there to do that there was just this one but i think the artwork on it is really pretty it's a seed pack it's a seed pack no it's it's open oh bummer 
Um, probably wouldn't be good anymore. <laughs> probably not. I'm not going to go through all of these because it's just going to take a million years and... A million years? Brody's up from his nap, barking everywhere. And you everywhere, complain about you know. me taking... Yeah, I know when to limit myself and wrap yeah. it up. There's a train picture can in there. The, can I get that in writing? <laughs> I'll give you some other things in writing. There's an old birthday card. And I didn't see if these are, like, written in. Oh, no, this one's new. There's nothing written in there. And then just, like... These are some... <laughs> We're throwing things off the balcony. Hey, bro. Can you go upstairs with Bo real quick? I told him you could come here. Oh, okay. Come over here. There's just tons. Bring me your, bring me your undies. Undies? Yeah, doesn't he need Well, undies? they don't. They don't need to see undies. Oh. He, he's gonna be from the All head right, come out here, there. Come here. Here's come here. Come here. It's fine. I'll show you some of the cuter ones here. That's that's Brody right now. Barfing into a trash can. All right. He's about to get interrupted. I know. <laughs> the the band is coming. Come here. Come here. Just. Upstairs. Keep him from the waist up, please. All right. You can do that in a minute. You want to come say hi to the people? Uh, in a second. In a second? Okay. Don't be shy all of a sudden. I'm just going to give my costume. Say hi. Okay. That's Brody. He's a sickie. <laughs> he doesn't look it, but he was just Ralphing a few minutes ago. Um. Uh, okay, the last little bundle of things I'm going to show you before we wrap this up was really there was somebody I, it was the free table i know what it is okay oh yeah that's right it was we were about to leave we were having heat stroke <laughs> and then some lady starts going everything's free on the green table or something like that ah yeah can you believe that look. and i got a bunch of free stuff you. look you see you on the thing and so of course everybody was like running to the table and i just kind of like hung back i'm like oh god you know and once there was a little clearing, I went over and I grabbed a couple things. Also, Blake wasn't around with the wagon, so I only grabbed what I could what just I hold. I, I don't doing. know. You were off looking for something else. I am off. You were off. <laughs> so I got two Pyrex lids. And these are the colored lids. These, these are the ones that go with the little casserole dishes. Mom. What? What are these? They're Pyrex lids. Do you want to hold one? It's very, don't, don't very breakable. It. Don't throw it. Okay, good job. Good holding it. Um, so the colored lids are actually the ones that are sometimes hard to find. Mommy, I just smell it. Oh, well, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> that smell but good. Does it smell good? Yeah. Yeah? It smell like dust? Why, why, why is that sides on it? Why does it have sides on it? Yeah. Well, that's handles, so oh. you can hold on to it. Anyway, that's one of those speckled ones. I think it's the Homestead pattern, and then this one I forget. These are more of like the late Bobby, 70s patterns. The you want to look at the bottom? Here, how about, let me show you something else you can look at that's not really breakable. Look at this sweet little pillow. Ah. There you go. I don't, I don't, I don't put it on my bed and sleep with it. You're going to sleep with it? <laughs> oh, uh oh, <laughs> dropped it. There you go. Um, so yeah, free, I'll take free Pyrex lids. Sure. Free little salt and peppers. Um, I don't know who makes these. There's no stoppers. And Buster. I think they're they're bears. Bo, you gotta pop your head in here and say hi to Michelle real quick. Okay, in a sec. Okay, in a sec. Cause she just can't stand not seeing you. Okay, pop your head in real quick. Hi, Michelle. She can't see you <laughs> yet. Wait. <laughs> Hi, there he is. Michelle. Oh, and Michelle, if you're still here watching, Bo picked Gabby some flowers. So you have some competition. Remember when you picked those flowers? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, here's some weird little bears. <laughs> But for free, why not? Miss Pamela's here. I didn't see you. Michelle says hi. Michelle says hi back, Bo. Oh, he's changing his costume. Okay. 
I also got for free this little kid record. Let me all hold it. You already holding the pillow. And I got this because I love the graphics on it. I don't even care about the record. Did I even sh tell you that I got no, this little 45? Is it in good shape? Uh, no. Me, uh, is it mint? It's not mint, but I like the I like the graphics <laughs> on it. And as all, you know what is breaking loose in here. Here's the last thing that I got. It's a little party game thing. Um, I just grabbed it. Because, again, it was free. This is an adult party game. Okay. And I just thought it was cool. Mom. Ephemera. Hey, don't, don't bump look, the camera. Don't Watch out. Don't pull the cord. Look on the cord. And I don't know. It's There's adult party games. It's like, Mom. as a young man, I was Mommy. known as the rail splitter. Mommy. Mommy. I'm hungry. Mom. I'm not, I'm not hungry. Mommy. You're not hungry? Mom. What? I'm going to down some more. Can I look at this? Be nice to it. And I don't, so I don't know what what game this was really, but these little pieces, the little numbers pop out. Mommy. What? Were those are breakable? Yeah, lots of stuff over there is breakable. My costume. Oh, you want to show your costume real quick? And so here's all the little numbers. One of them has been punched out, and all the little numbers are loose in here. So. Hi. <laughs> Your mask is on like upside down and backwards, babe. It's upside down. Yeah. Wait, well, how do you, how do Thanks. you wear it? Do you wear like mommy pills? Oh, do you want that some? Or is it like that? that? Yeah, like that. Do you want that some more breakable there you go. stuff? Oh, do you want to see some more breakable stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to see this elephant? Uh, is it breakable? Yeah, it's breakable. Come over here. Why are you smelling everything? Well, don't break it. Don't break Hi, it. Hi, I see you, <laughs> mommy. You will be with so, us, mom. That's it, everyone. <laughs> mommy. Obviously, we've got our hands full over here, so I'm mm. going to cut this off. What? No, I don't want you those. to cut this off. Thank you no. for coming back uh, after we went. Yes. We went out. Mom. <laughs> what? Mommy. 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 This is my costume. <laughs> Don't touch Two boy club. Yep, that's what we're in over here for sure. They're not like those quiet little we outnumber little girls mommy. three to one that just sit in color all day. <laughs> but that was it. That was what I got from the free table. That was what I got at. Do you guys see why I don't go live a lot? Like this, I can't even like That's why we don't focus. go live yeah. before 7.30, <laughs> our time. <laughs> right. <laughs> After they go to bed, we can go live. All right, guys. Say thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you for everybody to watch you. And say don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. To subscribe. To subscribe. <laughs> and say give me a thumbs up. Give, give me a thumbs up. And Brody, give me a thumbs up. Brody's <laughs> making faces. Thumbs up, bro. Can I have this? No? You thumbs like up, the bro. Salt and pepper? Brody, do you know how to do thumbs up? You give a thumbs up all the time when you eat dinner. And you're like, thumbs oh, up, good. thumbs down. Oh, oh. thumbs oh. down from Brody. He's that guy. Yeah, he's that guy. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Okay, no. he's not feeling good. Let's be, let's be sweet right, to let's him. All right. Daddy, I'm sick. Oh, he's feeling sick. All right, we're going to go. Thank you, everyone, for Thank watching you. our little haul. And up next on my channel Bye. is going to be the shopping video from the Epic Estate Sale. Bye. And then we're going to do a haul together at some point we with some of the people like who were there. Costume. If you can hear anything I'm saying. <laughs> okay, like now we're going to figure out how to end it. That'll be fun. Bye, guys.